Hello and welcome to the Daily Digestion Channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about um, iodine and are you deficient? Um, that is a huge question. A long time ago, um, people used to not be deficient in iodine so much as they are now. More and more people are becoming deficient and they have no idea that they are. Everyone thinks they're getting enough, but they're not because um, there are a lot of these diseases that are caused from um, iodine deficiency. So let's look at this art article here, PCOS Diva. Uh, making the connection PCOS hormones thyroid and iodine this uh, was written in 2018 it would be interesting to know what the statistics are now but let's look at this article um, this was written by Dr. Margarita Ochumaya a functional endocrinology and women's health so let's look at this and it's labeled feeling tired slow metabolism do you have PCOS take a look at your thyroid and iodine and guys we're just gonna look at a few things in here uh, that I really want to point out um, because a lot of uh, I had a question today about PCOS and um, there is a link between uh, thyro low thyroid levels and PCOS. Um, it says when a woman has PCOS, iodine is a topic of interest and should be part of the conversation. As it is well known that the ovaries have the second highest concentration of iodine in the body. So let's go back and look at this again. It says, as it is well known that the ovaries have the second highest concentration of iodine in the body. This has been confirmed by research, okay? The contents of follicular fluid in the ovarian follicles are rich in thyroid hormone T3 and iodine so guys um need i say more um you know basically um let's let's read on traditionally iodine has been discussed in the setting of thyroid thyroid disease it is well known that iodine is necessary for thyroid hormone balance and production. With newer research, iodine is now important since having low levels of iodine in the body can be linked to breast and ovarian dysfunction. And guys, I was having problems with my breast before I got back on the iodine this time. My breast tissue was so swollen, so sore, and so hard that it hurt for me to lay on my stomach. I literally could not even get an adjustment by my chiropractor because my breast tissue was so sore. It hurt me to lay on my stomach. So guys, that being said, I've now been on the iodine for three months and my breast tissue has been soft um, after being on the iodine and uh, I just want to say fibrocystic runs in my family and my mother had breast cancer and she healed her breast cancer uh, by drinking carrot juice and eating sprouts and eating raw foods and uh, she healed her uh, breast years ago from breast cancer. So it does run in my family. Um, but I just wanna say after being on the iodine for 
it was pretty much a month my breast tissue went back to being normal again and I remembered why I had went on the iodine uh, in the beginning uh, bef before I had stopped taking it. Um, if you will watch my videos uh, you will find out that I was on the iodine for six months and it was amazing what it did to my body. It changed my menstrual cycle um, and then I stopped taking it. I had just positive results. It helped me so much and then I quit taking it because I felt great and I thought, oh, I'm fine. I don't need it anymore. Well, was, all my symptoms came back. So now I'm on it again and I've been on it for three months and um, I just think I would be stupid to stop taking it. I'm taking 60 milligrams right now and I don't know. I'm just going with the flow, but uh, let's finish the article. Um, so, it's, let's get back to what we were talking about. Um, iodine in the body can be linked to breast and ovarian dysfunction. PCOS as well as thyroid imbalance and underactivity. Iodine deficiency is claimed to be rare, particularly in the United States. Now this is what I really wanted to hit on for you people who um, are just not sure, who are just not sure about the iodine um, you just don't know if you need it or you just can't believe it or whatever. Um, it says iodine deficiency is claimed to be rare, particularly in the United States, but compelling data has recently and was recently reported by the Centers for Disease Control suggesting that some 2.2 million women nationwide could have low iodine and more than a third of women of childbearing age have measured insufficient iodine. Okay, a third guys. That's one in three. Okay, one in three. Now that awareness is setting in. Now that awareness is setting in, more testing is being done and iodine deficiency is becoming more common. So in other words, guys, it wasn't on the radar screen because they were not testing people for this. This may be due to the fact that iodine is decreasing in the average American diet. Iodine is an essential component of the thyroid hormones. Thyroxine T4 and triodothernine T3, thyroid Hormones are important as they regulate biochemical functions such as the production of complex proteins, the activity of enzymes, and in general metabol metabolism, energy, and weight. Now, we're going to skip over this. And let's look at this. When iodine is scant, it can cause problems in the body. Number one, here are some hints. If you have a lot of these symptoms, you may be iodine deficient. Number one, thyroid enlargement. I had thyroid enlargement in my neck. My neck glands would swell up. As a matter of fact, before I got on the iodine for the second time, the first time my my neck was swollen and it decreased and got normal and now I've been on the iodine again for three months and my neck gland was swollen and it went back down. So 
you know, I'm going to stay on the iodine and pay attention to my neck. So, number two, underactive thyroid, hypothyroidism, um, decreased fertility rate, ovarian cyst. I have had those. Um, polycystic ovarian syndrome, breast cyst, and breast tenderness. That was me. Increased infant mortality, learning disabilities. That could be like brain fog, uh, nine mental retardation in children. Okay, so let's look here. Now, this is what you might be interested in. Um, if you're afraid to take the iodine and you want to be 100% sure, these are some ways you can test yourself for uh, iodine uh, deficiency. In order to check to see if there is a deficiency of iodine, you can test whether you have enough iodine on board. There is a home test where you can dip a clean ball of cotton in inexpensive red, red tinged tincture of iodine from any drugstore, paint a two inch circle of tincture of iodine on soft skin tissue such as the inner arm or thigh. If the stain is absorbed within one to three hours, your body may need a higher iodine intake. If the yellow-orange stain takes more than six hours to disappear, you are likely to be iodine replete. The next step is to ask your health care provider for a more accurate 24-hour urine collection. Now, this is what Dr. Brownstein recommends. He recommends the 24-hour uh, urine loading test where you um, take a bunch of iodine and then you go to the bathroom and if a bunch of iodine comes out of your urine, then you are not iodine deficient. But if the iodine stays in your system and your there's no iodine in your urine, then that means that you uh, you know that you don't need any iodine. So um, this here it says 24-hour urine collection where iodine is measured in the urine. There has been some correlation with the changes of the side of, size of the thyroid gland and the changes in the thyroid labs. When the median urine iodine measures greater than 100 mcgs per liter, goiter is rarely present and the TSH is usually low, normal, as compared to when it is less than 20 micrograms a liter. When goiter is present in more than 30% and the TSH is elevated in more than 40%. And um, so, guys, here you have it. Um, and Dr. Brownstein also mentions that um, just because you don't have a goiter, that does not mean that you, that might, that, that means that you're okay, that you don't have a goiter, but it does not mean that you have enough iodine in the rest of your body systems. Because guys, there are, there's iodine in your ovaries, there's iodine in your thyroid, there's iodine in all of your cells. All of your cells need iodine to function. Um, iodine is a major um, mineral that your body needs. So guys, I hope this helps you out. Uh, I hope this article sheds a little light on the 
iodine uh, missing puzzle piece. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions down below, please leave them in the comment section or if you have any comments and uh, you would like, I will leave a link to this article down also in the description box so you can click on and read this for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I need subscribers and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.